Thanks, Saritha. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. Today's topic is how to use new features in Adobe Express to develop your social channels. I'm Bailey Keller, and I'm a senior program manager here at TechSoup. So first, I want to go over how we can engage in today's event. So you will see at the bottom of your screen that there is a chat feature and a Q&A feature. If you have any questions that you want Jordan to go over today, then please put them in the Q&A section. And if you just want to have some comments, um, I'll be also monitoring the chat. If you need closed caption captioning turned on, there should be a CC button also down on that Zoom menu. If you learned something cool, oh. please share it on social media and tag us at TechSoup. Today's Sorry. webinar will be, it's okay. <laughs> Today's webinar is 60 minutes and it will be recorded. So if you have to leave early, we'll be emailing the recording and slides um, at the end of the webinar, probably within the next few days. So keep an eye on that. And cool. my last little slide is about quad. So collaborate with organizations and industry leaders, share best practices and experiences, all while getting the best value on solutions tailored to your needs. Membership is for 10 users in your organization. There's exclusive events and you get access to the entire TechSoup course catalog. And so now I would like to introduce Jordan Ellis, a community manager from the Adobe Express team. Thanks for joining us today, Jordan. My pleasure. Sorry, I am uh, much better at Adobe Express than running other people's slides, so <laughs> glad we figured that out. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I have the chat up. I'm trying to make sure I also have, I might not have the Q&A up, um, so you can definitely feel free to jump in, Bailey, if someone has a question and let me know. I always have a tricky time with Zoom windows, um, but this webinar is really for you all. So it was really helpful for everyone who already wrote what your nonprofit is in the chat. Please feel free to keep adding to that if you didn't get to yet, because I can kind of tailor this to be closer um, and more relevant to you all who are here. So this, this is really for you. Please ask any questions that you have. I'll answer as many as I can. And we have an hour, so we should be able to get through everything. Um, I have some things that I want to share, but also very happy to share what you all want to learn. So with that, I'm Jordan Danae Ellis. I've been on the Adobe community team for two and a half years. I love Adobe Express because my background is in running my own small business. Um, so not the exact same as a nonprofit, but some of the similarities are that I didn't go to design school. I didn't go to business school until last year. So I was winging it for a decade before that. Um, and like a lot of nonprofits, I have had to learn a bunch of jobs that aren't necessarily the things that I think I'm best at because there was no one else to do it. So if anyone else is running sort of a scrappy team or just trying to figure things out as you go with the resources that you have, I very much understand and that's why I love Adobe Express because it is set up to be as easy to use as possible, not only for designers, but also helpful, um, even making things faster. If anyone watching has a design background, does a lot of graphic design, hopefully this will still be really helpful for you and save some time in the projects that you're doing. So yeah, thanks so much everyone, Sabrina, Sahar, Darcy, everyone for joining. This is super helpful. I'm seeing a lot of um, animal nonprofits too. So maybe we'll do something like that, which is great. Um, so Adobe Express, um, if anyone has never used it before, this is what the homepage looks like on desktop. We also have an app that is getting a new version very soon. There's a public beta coming soon. So there is a mobile app that will be changing, um, but I'll be showing desktop today. If you haven't checked out your TechSoup options, that we have a partnership together so you can get Adobe Express for free for a year and you can renew it every year for yourself and 10 teammates. So there is a free version of Adobe Express that anyone can use. There's a premium version with extra features. And as a nonprofit signed up through TechSoup, you get access to the premium version. So that's very cool. And everyone on this call um, can have that just by signing up. So just go to TechSoup, check that out. And if you have any questions at all about that, Bailey just dropped the link 
and feel free to ask questions here because someone on this call will be able to help you. Um, so yeah, there's nothing to download. It's just a website. You go to express.adobe.com. Feel free to work along with me if you want, or you can watch for now, play back the recording anytime that you may need anything. But what Adobe Express does very well is template, templatizing. So the Adobe team created a bunch of templates. They're created by our designers. So they're really beautiful, but you can also create your own if you want, and you can tweak anything. So to start, I'll show if you just want to search for nonprofit templates. Um, up here, I can click over to templates. You can see all of these things. Um, so we have a bunch of different things here. We have social media posts. We have infographics. We have flyers. We have all kinds of things that we can click into any of these and just change them to be what we want. But I want to show a brand new feature that just came out. Um, because even though templates are really easy, you still have to use your imagination a little bit to pick like to see what starts here and then like envision it with your photos and your fonts and your colors. So we have something brand new to kind of take some of that away, which is really exciting. Right on the homepage, we have something called text to template. So Adobe Express will just create templates for you based on whatever prompt you type in. So I am going to start with a food drive flyer in Philadelphia because that's where I live. And we'll ask Adobe Express to give us some template options. Um, also want to say hi to Dave. And is your name pronounced Kenneth? That's very cool. And Anita, thanks so much for joining. Oh, there you all have so many cool organizations. This is rad. Um, so we were given these four options just generated for us. This is using Adobe Firefly, which is Adobe's generative AI tool. And we have four pretty different options here. So like this one is kind of color blocky. This one looks a little more, I don't know, I feel like it's a little more serious. This one's like fun and colorful. And this one is actually, I think my favorite. Um, I also like that it gives us some text options because I don't feel like writing copy is my strong suit. So sometimes I just type in template ideas here to just like get some ideas of what it could look like and what kinds of information I could use. So I'm going to actually, I could click in to start using this right away. I can also like thumbs up or thumbs down just to give the team feedback. This is still in beta. So that's really helpful for us. But I want to hit this C variations because I like the way that looks a lot. And I want to see some variations of it. So now Adobe Express is going to take what we just saw and give like similar options, but just some different ones um, so that we can check those out. So you can see they're different from each other. They have different copy. They're set up a little differently, but they're all much more similar than the first one that we started with. I love that this has cheesesteaks. That's amazing. And we can see down here, um, this ST means this is an Adobe stock photo. So that's something that we um, could use because Adobe stock and video is included with Adobe Express. Um, so I'm actually going to, yeah, the Help Hunger Food Drive. I really like, I really like the way this one looks and I like the way this text works. So I'm going to click into this so we can start editing. And the template is being like fully generated so that we can start um, using that. Julie uses Adobe Express to create content for social media posts, create flyers for events and mass email mailers. That's amazing. Uh, David is here with the Caribbean Arts Nonprofit in NYC. There's a lot of folks on in the Northeast with me, which I love. Um, okay, so now we have a template. If you've never edited a template in Adobe Express, it's also set up to be very easy. You basically just click on things and then change whatever. So we these are grouped. I can hit ungroup to make that a little bit easier for me. Um, and then I can just click on really anything and change it. You can work on projects by yourself or you can also invite your team, which is amazing. So I didn't actually confirm that Jessica is here. Um, so we're going to see if she is, but I'm going to add 
my coworker Jessica to this. I can choose if she can just comment. So if I didn't want to work on this together and just wanted to like get her feedback, but I'm going to let her edit it. And then I'm going to write a message. Um, let's update this flyer. Jessica is here, which is lovely. So I'm going to invite her to edit and then she will get both an email and a little notification up here that she can come in and edit this with me. So while that's sending, um, I'm going to actually write a note for her when she gets here. So I'm going to go up to this comment button. Oh, I can see Jessica is here. Um, I can see her moving around. I'm going to refresh this and try that again. Here we go. So I'll say, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to leave a pin right here and say, uh, is this line okay? Or is this title okay? Or should we update it? And then if I had multiple people, I could tag Jessica so she knows who I'm talking about. I'll submit it. So now there's a little comment over here. Um, so Jessica can change the text if she wants. We'll see. So this is like a really nice way, especially if your team is working in a bunch of different places. You can either do a virtual call like this and co-work together at the same time. Oh, Jessica is adding a date, which we don't have, which is lovely. Thank you so much for that. So I can see her doing this while I'm here, um, which is really, really great. So I'm going to... As much as I love cheesesteaks, uh, I'm going to replace this background image with a different one. Let's try cans of food. I could upload my own pictures here, or I can use an Adobe stock photo. I think this one really feels like a food drive. Um, and thank you so much, Jessica, for your help. But, you know, she's still here. She can change anything if we're working together. And she's like, that's not that's not great. <laughs> she could change it back. Um, we can move things around. I'm going to say uh, this is now like a little bit hard to see. So I'm going to click on the photo and we have a bunch of different options here. So we have it's already darkened. We can make it black and white. We could add some of these fun colors here. Let's do. Let's do this one. Um, kind of get holiday -y. um, and we can add things that we want. We can add our own things. So I'm going to actually animate this. I really like the text at the top. I'm going to click on it and go down to animation and I want it to like animate in. So I'm going to have it drift in from the side. And then I'm going to have the layer below it also drift in from the side. So I just click on whatever element I want and add the animation. And then something that's really cool is down here with this timeline, I can now see this is a five second long video because we add an animation and I can do something pretty cool with it. So if I hit show layer timing down here, I can now see the timing of all of these different pieces. So right now, everything is playing for the whole video, but if I want food drive to come in a little bit later, I can scoot this over so it starts, you know, once 2.2 seconds in. And if I go back to the beginning, now I can have everything kind of drift in staggered like that. So that is a really cool update um, that we have Adobe Express is brand new. Let me bring this oops oh sorry one second there we go just found the q a which is great um oh, perfect i was about to say larry just gave us a question <laughs> yeah, that's uh, really helpful yeah can you insert a hot link into a template that's a great question and i really wish the answer was yes we're working on it but it is not available at the moment so the only way to do that really is we could export this. If we wanted to download it, we could download it as a PDF and then um, update it in Acrobat. But right now there is not a way to add a hyperlink. That is a great 
question. And I will let the team know that we're still being asked for that. So thank you for the request. Um, yeah, great question. We have another question from Will just now. Yeah. Um, can Adobe Express help with taking, say, one generated design you like and expanding it to one brand-centric suite of designs for posters, flyers, ads, et cetera? I'm so glad you asked because that is exactly what I was going to show next. So that is perfect. Um, what we're going to do right now, we have this, this animated flyer. But exactly, if I want to take this one flyer and turn it into a LinkedIn post and an Instagram story and something that I can post um, on Facebook, I can take whatever image that I'm happy with. Oh, and I can also see up here, uh, we have a reply to Jessica's comment. Title looks great to me. So I can, um, I can check this as resolved. So yes, we have now a resolved graphic that we can use. Um, I am going to go to resize right here at the top and I can do a bunch of different things we can add custom sizes so for example if you needed this for like a website or an email marketing campaign and you knew exactly what you needed you could type in your own custom size right here you can also click on our pre-sized options so if I want this to be a larger poster and an Instagram square and a newsletter and a LinkedIn post and a web banner and an email header. And we can scroll, scroll, scroll. So we have, um, I don't know if this is relatable to anyone, how many times I've had to Google or search, like what size is an Instagram post? What size is a Twitter post? We have all of that in here for you. So you can click as many as you want and then just hit duplicate and resize. And now we have all of the different sizes that we chose. Um, so you can go back in and edit any that you may want to edit. So like right here, this one is very wide and it cut off some of our text. So if I click into this, I can then move the text around. Oops. Go back to, there we go. I can move the text around to make it fit on screen. And I can see that our entire campaign is here. So I will um Sydney's asking, consistency is something our organization is working on. Will the system begin to learn the style we prefer over time? So at the moment, I don't believe there is any sort of learning like that happening, but you can set up a brand and then use that on everything, which I will happily show. Also, um, we'll get to QR codes next um, and show accessibility. Yes. Okay, great. So really quickly before we finish with this design, and then I'll answer the rest of those questions. Um, you can do a couple different things once you have this. So this is a bunch of different versions of a social media or a marketing campaign. And what I can do is download it. So this is animated. I can download it as an MP4 or I could download it flat, but I can also actually let me instead do this one. I can also share it directly to social media. So I shared it with one individual person. I shared it with Jessica, but if I go a little further down, I can schedule this post and I already synced my social channels, so you'll see them here, but you can connect your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and TikTok is brand new. And I believe Adobe Express is one of the only um, partner companies that can schedule directly to TikTok. So that's very exciting. You can see those here. Um, so you can connect your own. Looks like some of mine have expired, which I would need to update. So you can just click into anything while the video is updating. Um, because this is set up for stories specifically, I'm going to click into Instagram and TikTok. It's going to, it's mad at me because I uh, didn't realize it was expired. Um, actually, I'll just show how easy it is. I can reconnect to Instagram right here. So I'll just connect via Facebook. So if it sometimes will require you to re-update it depending on like different security things um, as the social networks change. 
But you have a couple different options on Instagram. So I can make this either a post, a reel, or a story. And that's super helpful because if I just want this to go into my stories or I want it to live in my feed, or we can also schedule reels now, that's really exciting. And I can type in whatever caption. So this could be, don't miss our food drive this weekend. And I could have it be, um, you can also type in a first comment on Instagram. So I could add some hashtags to show up as the first comment. Uh, let's do these. And we have some options for TikTok as well. We could disable comments, disable duets, and disable stitch. If you don't want those, you can also leave all of those unchecked. Um, it's not going to let me schedule it because I am currently not signed in, but you can preview what it'll look like, which is really helpful, <clears throat> especially if you want to just make sure everything is spelled right, make sure everything looks right. So while um, it's loading um, and let me try one more time. <clears throat> Every once in a while, my internet gives me a little bit of issues. So this may be one of those things. And I'm sorry if it is, we'll try on a different post. I will schedule things later, but just wanted to show those options are there. Um, and now to answer some of the questions that we have, how to generate a QR code. It is really simple and I'm really happy that we have this section. So on the homepage, we have this quick action section. You can scroll through and see like, what is new right now, but you can also click into view all and it's sec sectioned out by social media, video, photo. So one of our quick actions is to generate a QR code. And it's really simple. You just drop your link. You can choose a few different styles. You can choose a couple different colors. And also if you want to download it as a PNG, JPEG or SVG, and that's it. It's really simple. It's right here on the homepage. Um, and to show a few other things that are available in our quick actions, there are some really nice video quick actions. So I'm going to go into video. You can do things that like you, if you have more extensive video um, editing, I am just learning how to use Premiere now. Um, but sometimes you don't want to open an entire thing to just like trim two seconds off the end of a video or resize it. I don't know if anyone has taken a video, you know, vertically, and then you actually want horizontal or square or vice versa. You can resize really easily here or crop, convert to GIF, but we also have caption video now too. So you can just drop a video up to five minutes long and you'll get a couple different captions. This takes a little while to generate. Um, so I will not ask you to <laughs> sit here and watch that generate. You can play with this yourself. You'll have a few different um, caption options. And then you can also open the video directly in Adobe Express to continue editing if you wanted to add filters or add other animations or anything like that. Uh, Lauren says Rush is great for that kind of editing. Exactly. Um, this is more updated than Rush. So like if there's anything, we have more newer things, I guess, than Rush does right now. Um, which is worth checking out. And animate from audio is really cute. So you can create all of these little different characters and then just animate something. So we have this library of characters. You can choose like how big they are. You can choose the background. <laughs> we have Saturn um, in the jungle. Now let's do Saturn. It's winter. Saturn in the winter. And then if you want it to be like set up for story, landscape, square, this is, I think, exceptionally fun for children, but I have used it before too. Um, and so I'm not sure if my screen will share sound or not, but you can just record anything you want. Hi, I just wanted to show off how animate from audio works. And then it will think about it for a minute and it'll give me like a little animated character. Uh, Larry's asking, can I create a background for Zoom? Let me know specifically what you're asking, like an animated background or just a photo because you definitely can. 
Um, but let me know specifically what you're thinking. And okay, then we'll show brand kit next. Um, so now I, again, I'm not sure if this audio will play for you. We can download it, but you can just see. My little Saturn is talking so I can download it or I can open it into an Adobe Express project and then I could add text or anything that I want with it. Now it's just a video that I can play with. So that is, again, exceptionally fun for children, um, but also fun for adults too. So a photo virtual background. Yes, you definitely can. I will show branding first. So Sydney asked about creating consistent marketing. That is hugely important um, for anyone, but especially organizations and um, businesses. So if I go over to your stuff, I'll see my projects, but I can also see my brands and libraries. So these are some brands that I've created. They're really, really simple to make. So if I hit create new brand, I can just type in test right now. So you can see how easy it is to set up. You just click into logos, upload your logos, click colors, and you can choose from these. You can add your own hex codes. Same thing with fonts. You can choose from the Adobe font library, or you can upload your own, or you can search for sp sp specific fonts, uh, and you can add graphics and templates as well. So this one is blank, but... This is my personal brand for everything I make for Adobe. So I didn't really make a logo. I just typed out my name. These are the colors I use in all my um, projects and some graphics that I just doodled in Fresco and also something that I brought from Adobe Express. And then I made two sample, very different types of nonprofit um, sample brands. So this is just a generic Philadelphia nonprofit with like a more... Um, sophisticated color palette, some fonts, some graphics, and some templates that I want to use. And then this is one I literally just made this morning to have something kind of more fun. Um, this is straight up just from Adobe Express. So this is a logo that already exists. I just searched for logo templates. I changed one of the words and that's it. Um, so this is, and then I just pulled when you add a color, you can also use this little eyedropper tool. So I just literally pulled the colors um, from that. And then same thing, pulled the fonts from that template and pulled the graphic from that. So this is maybe the easiest way that you can set up a brand kit, but now I have it and I'll show how to apply it to a brand. Um, can you add your own character? I don't think you can in this at the moment. Um, I've seen a version of this in some of the other Adobe products, but I don't think right now, I think um, the animate from audio options are limited to what is in here. Great question, Darcy. Um, and do we have a content planner or calendar to keep track of old social media posts? Yes, we do. I'm going to be honest that I have been extremely busy this month and have not posted nearly as much as I should have. So these are just some draft uh, posts that I did from other demos. But from the homepage, if you click on schedule, you'll see the calendar right here. And if I go back to October, this is like more filled out. So this, um, I did an event in Atlanta and then Savannah, and then we had Adobe Max. So I can see the posts that I've made here. And just to call out as well, if you want to add posts not straight from Adobe Express, uh, I have to go back to um, current posts. You can't post back in time, which makes sense. So if I wanted to schedule something to go out tomorrow, I can add new post. So I could same, you know, as adding right from the project, you can click on the networks you want and I can browse. So I can browse from any of my Adobe Express projects, or I can just upload something from my device. So if you want to schedule photos or your own videos that you don't need to edit, you can do that here and fill out your content calendar that way. Um, cool. Okay. Platform feature to check for accessibility. Yes. We'll show that now. Um, threads is not integrated yet. That is a great question. I actually haven't heard 
anything about that. So I should ask. Um, my coworker Andy works on the content calendar or the content scheduler. Um, so I'll ask him if Threads is coming and let you know. Um, okay. I wanted to create another flyer. So I'm just going to type in flyer and I'll show you if you have something more specific in mind for templates, you can filter over here. So if I wanted to make sure that it, you know, is a certain style or a certain mood, but down here, this is one of my favorite ways to search. You can search by animated multiple pages or video templates. So I'm going to type in multiple pages, which means that all of the templates will be designed with multiple options in them. So I can like hover over to see how many pages they have. I really like this one. And if I hold my mouse, it'll show me like what all the different pages are. Um, and that looks cool. So I'm going to click into that and remix it. So this is a music festival. That's not exactly what I want to make. So I'm going to need to edit this to have the information I need. And to see this, I can go um, up to see all of the pages here and I can kind of choose my favorite one and rearrange them if I want. And I like this one the most. So I like the way this template is set up, but I want to make a flyer to match my brand, which is an after school program. So I can et click in to, again, edit anything I want. And if I go over to your stuff, I can see my brands and libraries and I can, right now I'm in the wrong brand. So I can click this, oops, I can click, uh, here we go, this one <laughs> and choose the brand that I want. So I want my after school brand that I just made and I want something to match these colors. Um, so I can click on anything I want to add to it. So if I want to add my logo, I just click on it and now we have our little logo up here and then I can edit anything. So if I highlight the text, my brand text will be right here at the top. So the fonts that I chose in my brand are right here. I can click this one. I actually like the way that looks, but I'm going to change this to say um, after school and after school uh, program. I don't need this other text box, so I'll delete that. I like this image here, but if I want to have something that fits more on theme, I can hit replace and swap it out with an Adobe stock photo. And I can also generate my own. So if I go into media, we can upload our own or we can use text to image, which is Adobe Firefly, um, our generative AI, which I showed in the text to template. We can also generate images. So uh, Larry, I think is who asked about creating zoom backgrounds. Yeah, Larry, you can create like a, your totally own zoom background. Um, if you want to like completely generate an image that's AI generated, or you can add photos, um, or graphics or whatever you want. So I am doing something after school. Let's do, let's do, uh, Let's see what happens if we type in science lab and we can choose some different styles here. So I want this to be a graphic, I think, and I can have it um, with different effects or different techniques. Let's see what it looks like first and then maybe we'll make it, we'll add a different technique to it. Let's see. Okay, cool. This is... Um, let me type in school science lab, see if that gives us something a little closer to what we want. You can change the prompt as you go. Um, I like this, but we'll see if we get something that feels like it fits even more. Yeah, this is cool. This I like because it's just like a nice graphic. Um, we also have some other fun ones with people 
but I like this one. It's fun and kind of fits the brand that we have. Um, so I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to drag it down here because as you can see, there is a texture overlay. And I like that just by moving the images around in the layers and pulling it be beneath this texture, that really changes the way this looks. Um, and I love that. So yeah, I have now, I can make this even more on brand so I can pull from the colors in our brand here. So our brand colors are right here. I'll use this yellow. Um, and down here, I can do the same thing. I could change all of this. Um, and there's like a shape outline here. So I can make this in our brand colors too and change the text to be white so it's visible or to our brand colors. So that is a way to apply your brand to anything and any template that you open will have your brand accessible that way. Um, so you can really look at anything like that. And do we have any other questions at this moment? Jordan, cool. I had a question. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of the time we uh, interact with nonprofits and in the communities they serve, constituents speak multiple languages. So yes. would you be able to show the translation app? I or sure you? can. Thank you. Um, I wanted to show that with, so exactly like Bailey said, we have a new translation feature, which is really exciting. And I was thinking because we're near the holidays, Giving Tuesday just happened. It would be really nice to make a thank you post that we can share with either our own community, um, our own, you know, donors, or to share out on social. So I'm going to search for a thank you post up here. Let's go into templates. We have so many options. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I saw one earlier that I loved. Let me see if I can find it again. And if not, we will, we have so many good options here. Oh, this is one that I thought was really fun. Um, I like that it has thank you in a couple of different places with a few different fonts. You could again, change this to be exactly your style. So if I wanted to make this um, in my in my font choice, I have to move this to the front so I can edit it. Um, I can change that to my brand font here. Oops. That's the one I want. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, we can edit this however we want. I'll drag this back down to where it was. But once we have it ready to go, very similar to the way that we used resize to generate a bunch of different images in a bunch of different sizes, we can also go to this translate button. It's detecting that this is in English and we can choose from, I don't know exactly how many languages we have now. We have this many, I haven't counted, we added more. Um, and you can click into as many as you want. So let's do traditional Chinese and Czech and Dutch. Filipino, German, Italian, and let's do Spanish and Welsh and Vietnamese. So you can choose as many as you want. And then when we're ready, we hit duplicate and translate, and then we will have projects in all of those languages. So all of the text has translated for us. Um, you can go back in to edit any that you may need. So like, for example, some of these are cut off a little bit because of the way the wording worked out. So I can go here and like move this back and move this in. So you can go through and edit each of them separately, but now we have a tr uh, full different line of translated options. So we could either send those out individually. We can download all of them. If I want to check them all, we can download them together and then send them out accordingly. Or if I wanted to choose maybe, let's choose four of these. Um, 
cool. Let's choose these four. I can share these as a carousel post too. So if I wanted to do a thank you post um, sharing all of these, I could share them as a carousel. So let's choose something like Twitter and Facebook. Um, how do you know which is which language? So if you don't speak the languages that you're translating to, um, you would maybe want to do them individually so that you can keep track or you could use like a translator to see, but um, yeah, there to know which language it is, you could either, yeah, do them individually or um, use a translator to find out which one is which. Uh, so now we can preview what this looks like as a carousel. So on, on Facebook, you know, they're all joined like that. On Twitter, you can see what it'll look like. So you could see what it looks like if you wanted to share um, a bunch at once. And I did want to show, I forgot there was a question before about accessibility. We have, we have add-ons now in Adobe Express, which is new. So everything when you're in a project is right here along the left-hand side, adding media, adding elements, adding grids. Um, if we go into add-ons, there are a lot of different partnered add-ons. So there is one that I believe I have already added. Um, we have a color blindness checker. So we could see like looking at a couple different colorblind options, what your design looks like um, to different eyes. So that's really helpful to look at um, exactly to see like accessibility that way. And you can you can look at all the different add-on options. Let me see if there's anything new. We're adding new um we're adding new add-ons all the time. So this is fun to go back and check. Um, but you can also, if you had a certain like accessibility uh, plan that you had to run it through, you could download this as a PDF and run it that way. How to create a collage from grids. I absolutely can. There are a few different ways that you can create um, collages now. So I'll just start from blank. Uh, let's do, let's do a square. I'll create from scratch. So there are a few different things. We could go down to grids and click on one of these options. So if I wanted, um, maybe this one, I could have this grid and then move everything around. I can change like the padding and the spacing. And then I just click into each image. Um, and I can, oops, replace it with what I want. So that's a way to just like manually create a collage from scratch, but there is an automatic way that I love, which let's just do, um, I know there were a few nonprofits with animals, so let's do, let's type in pets, but you could use your own photos. Um, so let's do this dog, this dog, this dog. Uh, this one, this one, got to get some cats in there. Cute. See, we have five, six photos here. I can highlight all of them and then hit create collage and it will automatically make a collage for me. So I can still like move, I can swap, you know, photos if I want to move things around. I can also, if I'm like, oh, this one doesn't really fit anymore. I can hit replace. Um, one trick to know is that you can detach. So right now it's set to the page background. Um, you can detach it and then move it around and just kind of edit things that way. Um, and you can change like the background color. You can also change same thing, how everything looks. So that is a way to make grids and collages that's brand new. Tommy is asking if there are specific pros to Adobe Express. I think that the biggest one is that this is integrated into the entire Adobe ecosystem. Um, so this is like all of our, 
all of our templates are created by Adobe designers, but you can also do things like start from Photoshop or Illustrator or PDF documents. So if I want to, um, for example, edit this PDF that I have, I can open it right in Adobe Express. And then I can also like open it back in Photoshop or Illustrator. So I think it being a part of the Adobe uh, yeah, the Adobe ecosystem, um, the brands and libraries are shared across all of the programs if you wanted to use any of those. And also we're the only one that is scheduled to TikTok if, or that can schedule to TikTok um, if that's important to you. But yeah, now this is um, this is the PDF that I can just edit in whatever ways I want. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. Um, and I could, you know, add little things to update this uh to make it oh well, let's do a little holiday food drive and then we can animate this little guy you know things like that um okay questions i don't know if the templates are stock photos of people versus ai generated um do you mean in like which templates are you talking about at let me know um does it work with adobe indesign so at this moment i don't think there is a specific indesign integration um yeah i don't think i don't think there's anything special um uh I don't think there's anything special with InDesign at the moment that I know of. Thanks for that question. Can I share an item into Word? I don't know what Snagit is, Larry. Um, if you right click, these are the options that you get and nothing is sending it into other programs. I don't know if that is helpful. I'm sorry, I don't know what, I don't know what that app is. Um, but one thing that I just realized uh, is helpful separately is that you can you can lock things, which I haven't talked about. But if you wanted to like say we were sharing this with someone um, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, they could edit what they wanted, but they didn't change this top part, I could lock it um, so that they know like this is what's editable and this can't move around. Um, you mentioned the generative text with our templates. There is not a generative copy option at the moment, except um, like we don't have anything like chat GPT or things like that. The one thing that is kind of funny, you can use text to template a little bit in that way. So um, you could type in like a birthday card and then it would give you like a regular birthday card. But you can type in a birthday card with puns and it'll give you some like different titles. So there isn't a specific text generator right now um Sydney but that is like a way that you can kind of I use this to get ideas sometimes um nah. but uh but there isn't a specific text generator right now um so if you're using a template from if you're using a template um I don't believe that there is a way to check the source of what is in here um it's definitely something that is like able to be used and within the Adobe Express um guidelines but yeah if you wanted to see like if a photo is a stock photo or used from Firefly, I don't think there is a way to check that at the moment, but the the way around that is to just add a photo um, that you, that came from like where you want it to. So if you're like not sure what this, where this photo is from, uh, you can um, just add your own stock photo instead if that is something you 
we're concerned about. And swap it out with um, that one. Um, let me know if that answers your question. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Larry. I don't know anything about Snagit, but you could try it out um, and see if it works with this. Did I miss any questions? If I did, feel free to ask them again. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, I saw a comment. Um, I know that we have about 10 minutes, so I'm going to monitor some questions that might be yeah. coming in. Nancy had mentioned how she uses the remove oh, background yeah, quick yeah, features. Yeah. And I wanted to know if we have some quick time just to show like how some of those features might work for folks yeah. that need to quickly edit and remove some, some that's, images in the background. Actually. Oh yeah. So that's what I used uh, for this. So I just um, uploaded a photo of myself that I took here in my office. It is this one. Um, but you can see like this is doesn't look quite as great. And so if I just hit remove background, then I can um, remove the background. And that's really easy. And this is another layer. This is another layer that I did the exact same way. I just made it all white. So now I have kind of like a glow behind me. Um, but we have something new too, which is generative fill. So let me just pull in a photo really fast. I'm going to pull in uh, this picture of me at Disneyland on vacation just to show this. Um, we'll make brochures. Yeah, you can type in uh, brochures to templates and Make some that way. Uh, just to show like one of our other new features, we have something called generative fill, which is in Photoshop, but it's in Adobe Express now too. So I can, for example, remove this person if I leave it blank. Um, we'll get a couple different options, but I can add things too. So if I wanted to add like some birds in the sky, I can do that. So this is a, a way to do some Photoshop level editing in Adobe Express, which is really cool. So I can up here add a flock of birds in the distance. Um, yeah, and we can generate book covers too. So you can, um, if you have a template that you already like, or you have a design in Express you already like, you can resize it to any size. Um, just by hitting the custom option, which I will show in one second here. Now we have an image with some birds um, and we can make this into a really quick book cover. Let's uh, let's just make this black and white and we'll add some text that says a guide to Disneyland and make this colorful. This is uh, the fastest book title of all time. Cool. Uh, 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 um. And this, this. Great. Okay. So now we have our ebook <laughs> or book cover. Um, if we hit resize, we could make this, uh, you said six by nine. So we can make this six by nine. Um, and now we have our little book cover, but you can also search for eBooks or book covers or whatever. And we have a lot of templates too. Um, so you can, you can also search from book cover templates and then tweak it to make your own. Thank you for being here. And it, um, yeah, five minutes. If anyone has more questions, I'm also, um, I'll bring my little graphic up again. I am also online. Um, exporting to print is, so Adobe Express is really set up for digital. That's a great question. The closest and best thing you can do is download it as a PDF um, if, it, if it's going to print, but we don't have things like bleed lines or um, 
or other print formatting, things like that. So that is a great question. Um, and you could definitely, if you have a, um, like another software that you like for print, you can export the designs and pull it in there. So glad that you got your TechSoup um, discounted software. That is great. Um, Jody, I'm so glad you have ideas. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Soho Mike. Um, if you're having issues, uh, yeah, with the rest of your Adobe licenses, feel free to email us um, separately and we can look into your account and try to figure that out. Thank you, Pastor Linda. Yeah, this is me. Um, my entire job when I'm not doing workshops is answering questions and making sure everyone has what they need to create what they want in Adobe Express. So this is, um, this is my social everywhere. My DMs are open. Um, and my email is just jordandanae at adobe.com. Feel free to email me or go through TechSoup. Bailey has all my contact info. Um, well, I'm going to be honest. I don't know as much about the other Adobe packages as I do about the Express one. So feel free to email me and I'll ask folks or email Bailey. Um, yeah, it's quickly oh, yeah. comment. Um, Adobe Express is an app within your Creative Cloud um, all apps uh, suite. Um, will so if you have one of those individual licenses, you will have access to Adobe Express within that. Perfect. Yeah, cool. And um, like I said, for everyone who is talking about making social media posts, please feel free to like ping me if you have questions. Um, someone literally just shared a project with me once and asked me. <laughs> to help them work on it. So very happy for that. Um, feel free to tag me in things you'd make. I'd love to see it. And yeah, message me anytime if you have questions. I know the holidays coming up is a great time to work on getting your marketing out there because um, there's just a lot happening this time of year. So hopefully this helps helps make things a little faster for you. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining. I just put in a reminder in the chat that this session was recorded. So you will all be getting a recording of this within the next few business days. So just look out um, via email and we will make sure that you all get that. And I also had shared my email in the Q&A section. So if you have questions, feel free to reach out and I can help kind of coordinate where those inquiries need to go. Awesome. Thank you, Bailey, for hosting. Thank you.